Okay, so let's continue with the next one, sales order processing. <clears throat> okay, so this is quite a different topic than the previous one. <clears throat> so when we create a sales order, you can see we have different types of information and data transfer to the sales document. Okay, so for example, when I create a sales order, if I show you this screen, if I create a, if I go to VA01 transaction, create an order, so as soon as I enter a customer, system will pop up a lot of data, for example, payment of terms, inco terms and all that. Okay, even if I go to the other screens, I can see, if I go to, see, go to header, header of sales, I can see some data like sales office, sales group, sales area, currency, price list and all that. Okay, so system populates a lot of data, uh, it transfers a lot of data from the resources. Okay, so where this data is coming from? From customer master. Okay, so all this data is coming from customer master. Okay, so this is what we're going to study the different types of data transfer to a sales document. Okay, so what are the source for data for a for a for a for a transaction for a for say for example a sales order? Okay, so for example in a sales order we have different types of information coming from so first is coming from uh, master data. Okay, so master data is is your customer master, material master. So customer data is master is providing you the information about customer, their plan, shipping point, sales area, sales office, and all that. Then we have material master that provides uh, information uh, in a sales order regarding material master. Then we have conditions. Okay, condition record. They provide us information about um, pricing. <clears throat> we have seen it before in the previous classes. And also we have like things like uh, uh, CIR record. So they provide information like custom material number and all that. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have um, existing document data. What that means is for when I create a sales order, when I create a sales order, for example, if I enter a material, if I enter quantity 10, uh, sorry, 1, if, if when I press enter, just, just cancel this one. Okay system will automatically first thing is system is will populate all the data from this material master like description the unit of measure and all that okay at the same time also it will also tell you it will also pick up the plant delivering plant if i scroll right whatever you see in the in the, this scroll scrolling on the right hand side the same thing is available on if i select this one go to details that the same thing will be available on these different screens Okay, and if I go to shipping, I can sh see the plant, see plant. Okay, so where this plant is coming from? So plant is coming from say CI recorder, material master, customer master. Okay, I will discuss this one again in a minute. But what this slide is saying is that existing document data, for example, this when you create a sales order, the system will pick up the plant from, from somewhere. Okay, and that plant will further do the further determination. Okay, for example, when I created the sales order, system picked up this plant 1000. Now this plant 1000 will help in further determination of shipping point and route. Okay, automatically. So, so because if you remember <coughs> the formula for shipping point is, um, is a combination of delivering plant plus uh, shipping um, conditions and loading group okay so to, to find the shipping point in a sales order what we need is delivering plant okay so what that means is to find this delivering shipping point we need this delivering plant information and this, this delivering plant is coming from the other data like CI record and all that so this plant will 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 populate here and this will populate for the shipping point and shipping and also route. So route also read in the route determination we also need plant information. Okay, so so this plant information will come from somewhere from say the CI record and this will further help the doc, the document to determine the shipping point and route. 
Okay, this this is what the slide is saying here in the existing document data. Okay, the delivery point at item level as a basis for the determining of um, shipping point. So then we have other source of data is customizing. Okay, so we have in the customizing different uh, delivery type blocks and different behavior of, behavior of different item category, different document types and all that. Okay, so they are part of customizing. So that's also a source of data uh, from customizing. Okay, then also we have uh, uh, hard coded controls that is a bad programs. Okay, so like when the system is uh, doing the, the determination, so the system is doing the let's say shipping point determination or route determination, is it's actually running uh, running the uh, uh, web programs. Okay, those are the web programs. Those, those are the hard coded codes in a system. The system is uh, using to find the shipping point and route and all that. Okay, so so in a sales order, the <coughs> the source of data are basically master data, existing document data, customizing and hard coded controls. That is web programs. Okay, so these are the source of data in a sales document. So <coughs> Let's see this one. Sales order entry <coughs> deriving the sales sales area. So what that means is when we're creating a sales order, when I'm creating a let me create a sales order from the beginning. If I create a sales order VA01, here you, you can see that I, I'm, I'm entering all the sales organization, distribution channel and division. That is sales area. So all three are making what? Sales area. Okay, so I'm entering all the data initially. But what if I do not enter any data? If I make it blank, okay, and if I press enter, what will happen? Let's see what happens. If I press enter, and as soon as, as soon as I enter a customer here, system will check the sales area of, of this one and will automatically uh, uh, propose the sales area or, or automatically will enter the sales area for this customer okay for example I entered this customer now if I press enter system will automatically pop up the it, because the sales area for this for this customer there are there are two different sales area this customer exists in two different sales area let me show you this one first if I open this customer This must be having two different sales area. So one is this, one is 12, I think. Is another 12, I guess. No. We're showing that here. P2. Hmm. Not sure if someone changed the original settings. I don't know why it's showing this one as well. But I shouldn't show you this one. If I select this one. something wrong with the program I think let me check let me extend the area actually so let me do this one first so I will I will extend the sales area for this for this customer to other sales area okay so if I go to all sales area I will select a different sales area to extend this one in the sales organization 1000 uh, we already using this one, this sales area, 1010 and 00. So let me select this one, 1000, 12 and 00. If I select 12, tick and OK. And here I need to do some entries. Uh, 